You see, when I first started making beats in that FL studio about 10 years ago, I remember everyone telling me how the sound quality was low and I needed to get better instruments. And now I'm testing out this new program and I'm just realizing people never change. I just shake my head when I hear people say that this or that program needs better sounds because any experienced producer knows that all generic sounds don't blend unless you know how to mix well and use them the right way. See, I got a version of Pro Tools that came with my interface and that version even let me use any other instruments or plugins that I had with it and I spent way more money on that than what this new program cost me. Every digital audio workstation comes with wax sounds until you learn how to mix and blend them well. But if you're going to learn how to do this, why are you going to start on a program that could set you back a few hundred dollars when you could get started for under $40 with this program that I'm testing out? And it gives you pretty much all of the same tools. Uh, then maybe you could turn around and spend another 15 or $20 to get you a nice sound pack. And I bet those guys that are using FL Studio and Logic won't have much to say to you when they hear the beats you're able to make. It's all about how you put it all together. It's not so much about what, what the program comes with. Uh, I wrote an article about this that I called, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so let me buy more equipment. Because pretty much what I'm saying in that article is that a lot of artists I come across, they don't have the skills. And whenever they hit a wall, instead of spending more time on their craft, they go and spend more money at a store. So instead of taking the time to learn what they have, they don't know what they have. They don't learn what they have. They just go and spend some money hoping that this new piece of equipment or this new piece of software will make them sound better. And that doesn't really help them for the most part. They'll have the biggest studios with all their equipment, but their music is still whack because you have to practice with the tools you have. That's why I always recommend that you start out with the cheapest tool you can find, even if it's free. But I mean, the free programs are a little, uh, you know, are a little kind of behind. But if you get something like this program I'm talking about right here for less than $40, you have access to the same tools and the same quality of sounds as everyone else. All you have to do is take the time and figure out how to make it better and take your time and find the right type of instruments that you could use in your own mixing. But if you're new to making beats and you want to get started doing this, then this is definitely a program you want to check out. And I got a link below in the description box that you could click. This is definitely the best bang for your buck and you'll be a fool to go and waste money with something else when you got something like this available. Thanks and check it out and make sure to subscribe. Check out my channel for more beats. You know I go in with this. I've been doing this for 12 years so I ain't got time to hear that nonsense. Hopefully you like this program and hopefully you like this video. Thank you.